Hello there! Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you're tuning into this. This is The Dive, where we look into the latest news hitting the entertainment business. This week we have a tragic passing, a triumphant return, and, of course, more streaming services. Because, why not? We don't have enough. I'm your host, Andrew Burgess, with Dolphin Image Studios. Let's get into this. All right, so the first item is the Welcome to the Blumhouse Anthology. I'm going to say that wrong in multiple ways. I'm letting you know. Anyways, the anthology's first four films have apparently been very successful, to the point where Amazon and Blumhouse are going to be releasing the next four very shortly. If this effort is as successful as they're leading us to believe, then I'd like to see other producers and production companies adopt this model. Next up, we got Viacom CBS, with what you might ask, more streaming services, or less, depending on how you look at it. See, we already know that they're planning Paramount Plus for next year. I really think everyone needs to do better with these names, but that's besides the point. But in order to focus on Paramount Plus, they're going to be consolidating a bunch of their smaller niche streaming services. The important thing is Pluto is not one of the streaming services getting axed. Pluto has been wildly successful and it seems like Viacom CBS is adopting more and more of Pluto's DNA as time goes on, which again, I think is a good thing. Okay, so what's that? You're sick of talking about streaming services? Well, so am I, but here we are. Discovery and Sony are getting into the game now, in their own ways. Discovery is launching their own streaming service next year in 2021, and they're going to tell us all about it in December, apparently. What's Sony doing again? That's right, Crunchyroll. They are buying Crunchyroll for $860 million, which seems a bit weird that they're not launching their own streaming service and instead buying another one, but actually, it's quite smart. Think about it. Anime has been a huge source of growth for Netflix internationally. It seems like Sony sees the same growth trend and wants to capitalize on it. Because why launch a new streaming service and put all that risk up front if you can buy one that's already successful and is gonna be a key source for growth? It just makes sense. Good on you, Sony, you're thinking, and I like that. Now, we we need to address, you know, a bit of a, ne a bit of a sad news story, if I'm honest. We wouldn't be an entertainment news show if we didn't talk about the tragic passing of Alex Trebek. He was 80 years old. He had been struggling with pancreatic cancer for a little while. Rest in peace, Alex. His passing comes at a time when game shows have not really taken off in the streaming age, at least in the way that we would all have expected. This might be a good time for the game show space to examine itself and adapt to the new age. We'll just have to wait and see. Either way, Alex, you'll be missed. And finally, for the bit of news that I am most hyped about today, if I'm perfectly honest, the return of Jon Stewart. He is coming back to the small screen via Apple TV+. They signed an agreement to do a weekly topic-based show that will, of course, be mostly political, but it will also highlight Stewart's philanthropic efforts. Now, of course, I think it's the best thing ever that Jon Stewart is finally back and we'll get to see him every week, but more importantly for Apple, it'll probably be a good source of new subscribers, since the way that most Apple TV Plus subscribers are getting it is from free trials from getting an iPhone, which I wouldn't call that growth. I'd call that cheating. Apple. Anyways, Apple, you do have some good shows on your service, so I hope adding Jon Stewart to the library helps out in that regard. And that's about it for the very first episode of The Dive. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe because those things help out the channel a lot and let us know that you want to see more Dives Into the News. This has been Andrew Burgess of Dolphin Image Studios. And we'll see you in the next dive. Take care, everybody.